Let's solve this equation. And what type of equation is this? Well, it says right here, this is an exponential equation, and that is correct. Now, why is this an exponential equation? Well, it's an exponential equation because the variable x is right up here sitting in the exponent. So um, we're going to have to uh, use our knowledge of logarithms to solve this exponential equation. I'm going to talk more about that here in a second. But this level of math is um, uh, going to be probably like the Algebra 2, College Algebra, Intermediate Algebra, Pre-Calculus. Uh, so if you're uh, taking one of these courses, you're probably studying exponential functions, logarithms, and whatnot. And these are, it's very, very critical that you understand how to work with logarithms and exponential functions because they're very, very widely used, important, and you're going to need your calculator as well. So we'll talk about that here in a second. And on your calculator, the buttons that we're going to be uh, using are the LOG button. So if you ever wondered what that is, well, that's an, uh, the um, common logarithm. But we're actually going to be using this LN button. That's the natural logarithm. You can use both for this particular problem. But uh, these are the buttons that we're going to be using on your calculator. So if you want to kind of follow along, uh, you'll definitely need your calculator. Okay. I think on most cell phones, if you take your your calculator app, and, uh, you can probably turn that into like a scientific mode. But I wouldn't. You may or may not be able to do that. I don't know if there's apps out there that uh, I'm sure there are that um, provide like a scientific calculator for your uh, cell phone, that's fine. However, if you're at this level of math right here, you absolutely need a scientific. A matter of fact, you probably want to get a, a graphing calculator as well. But uh, anyways, we're going to talk about all this stuff and exactly how to solve this exponential equation in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is our awesome equation. And uh, uh, if you're at any one of these levels of math I just talked about, Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, you should be able to uh, handle this problem fairly easy. So if you want to pause the video, and do this real quick to see if you can get the right answer. I would definitely encourage that. But uh, let's get into it. Okay, so here is just a reminder. Right now, we're dealing with an exponential equation, all right? All right, why, do, why is this an exponential equation? Because we have this little x up here, okay? It's in the exponent spot. So we're trying to determine, you know, what the value of this is. So this is an exponential equation. We need to uh, recognize that. So if you see an exponential equation, you need to be thinking, I have to use logarithms to solve, okay? So when we're dealing with an exponential equation, think logarithms. You're going to have to apply logarithms to solve. Now, the reverse is true. If you see a logarithmic equation, all right, log uh, x plus 2 equals 9, something like that, guess what? You're going to have to use exponents to solve. Now, why is that? Well, exponential and logarithmic equations, those functions are inverse functions of one another. Okay, there's a relationship here. All right, so again, if you see exponential equations, you're going to have to apply your knowledge of logarithms. Now, your, uh, the type of knowledge you're going to need is you're going to need to understand the properties of logarithms. Um, you're going to have to know how to deal with uh, uh, using your LOG and LN buttons. So typically when you're solving exponential equations. This is after you covered everything you have learned previously about logarithms. So anything I'm going to talk about here, if you're not quite understanding, then you need to brush up on uh, this stuff. So um, again, let's get into the actual problem and then you can kind of determine what you need to brush up on. Okay, so here is our lovely exponential equation. We're like, oh, it's an exponential equation. I need to use logarithms. All right, so now what uh, logarithms do we need to use? Well, we're going to have to use our calculator, and you only have two choices here. You have the LOG and the LN button. You can use either one. You can, uh, you'll can, you get the same answer, okay? But what we have to do, the first step, is we have to take the log of both sides. We have to take the logarithm of both sides. Again, I could use the common logarithm or the natural logarithm. And typically, I would use the common logarithm Normally, you'd like to use that ln when you're dealing with a base e. So if I had like e to the x plus 1 is equal to 7, 
I would definitely take the ln of both sides, okay? Because this is the natural logarithm. It's the logarithm with base e, okay? Again, if you want to know more about this, I would encourage you to check out like my college algebra, algebra two course, my pre-calculus course. I teach this extensively, but I also have a lot of videos on this in my uh, algebra two uh, pre-calculus playlist on my YouTube channel as well. All right, so again, either one of these would work, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the LN button, okay? All right, so we're gonna take the LN of both sides. So that's gonna look like this, LN, parentheses, uh, three, two, minus five X equals LN of 11. Now, one thing you need to kind of always be uh, mindful of is L when you have the log of a number, like log seven, LN 11, okay? These are actual numeric values, okay? You can go into your calculator and, you know, type this stuff in. You're going to get some decimal, okay? Typically, you're going to get some number, some value. So when I'm looking at LN11, this is just now a number. But I'm not going to convert this into an actual number. I'm going to leave this as uh, LN11 because I'm going to work to get an exact value. I'm not even going to use my calculator um, at this point. I said that you, you needed your calculator and you you should have your calculator available because you might be looking for a decimal answer. But just so you know that LN11 is an actual numeric value. So in your brain, you'd be thinking, oh, that's just a number, okay? All right, so now we have LN of uh, 3, 2 minus 5X. What do I do here? Well, this is where we have to know about the property of logarithms. So let me just show you right here. If I have 2X is equal to uh, 9, all right, and I take the log of both sides or the ln of both sides, log of 2 to the x right here, there's a property of logarithms that says when I write a log, okay, log of a power, okay, I have a base and an exponent, I can bring that little exponent down right there, x log 2. This is a hugely important um, property of logarithms, okay, and you need this is the key to be able to solve these exponential equations. So again, uh, when I was talking about, you know, you should already understand these properties of logarithms. So now I'm taking ln of both sides and uh, the ln of three to two minus five X is going to allow me to drop this exponent expression down in front, okay? So I just showed you why that was that property. So this is two minus five X times ln three equals uh, ln 11. Now, check this out. ln 3, remember, this is just a number, okay? And this is just a number as well. Remember, I could just get decimal values for this, but I'm going to leave them um, as so. So now we're talking about a basic algebra equation, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and divide uh, the equation now, both sides of the equation, by ln 3. ln 3, let's kind of start... Um, Isolated. Remember, I want to get, I want to solve for x. So if I divide both sides by ln 3, I get 2 minus 5x equals ln 11 over ln 3. Again, no need for us to go into our calculator and manipulate this because I'm going to get an exact answer. Okay, so to solve for x, I just need to do my basic algebra here. Uh, I'm going to subtract uh, both sides of the equation by 2, and I get negative 5x equals. Uh, ln 11 over ln 3 minus 2. Okay, we're just kind of following the steps here. And now at this point, to solve for x, I can multiply everything by negative 1 fifth, which is the same thing as divided by negative 5. So I can multiply this by negative 1 fifth and this guy over here by negative 1 fifth as well. And when you do that, you get x is equal to negative. All right, we got our, our ln 11. Uh, this is now negative because I'm multiplying by negative 1 fifth. Uh, over 5 ln 3, and now negative times negative is going to be positive 2 fifths. And this is perfectly fine. This is an exact answer right here, right? No need to go into our calculator and actually, um, you know, produce, you know, get the decimal um, version of this, right, or decimal approximation. But you need to still know how to do that, okay? You need to know how to work with your calculator and understand these, uh, these buttons. So depending on what kind of form your teacher wants the answer, whether they want a decimal approximation or an exact form is what counts. Okay, so this is a basic exponential equation. And certainly for those of you that are studying this level of math, you're going to need to know this stuff. Okay, but just remember, keep in mind, anytime you see an exponential equation, you're gonna to have to uh, be thinking logarithms, which means you need to know quite a bit about logarithms. 
Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.